Welcome to this video from Nanga Systems. In this video, we're going to look at the capabilities of the integration offered by Nanga Systems between Spark Systems Enterprise Architect and PTC Windchill Requirements Validation and Source, previously known as Integrity Lifecycle Manager. Windchill RVNS manages the requirements and testing artifacts for product development that lead to architectures and models in Enterprise Architect. The Nanga Enterprise Architect Integrity Integration is a plugin for Enterprise Architect that allows you to synchronize requirements between the two systems, link requirements and architectural models for traceability, and provide visibility of requirements and requirement changes in either system. In this video, we're going to demonstrate the key technical features of the integration. Bidirectional synchronization of documents and content between Winchell RVNS and Enterprise Architect, the synchronization of attributes and relationships, the reporting of changes during synchronization, and the synchronization of diagrams from Enterprise Architect to Winchill RVNS. This video is organized into chapters, one for each use case. At any point in the video, you can display the table of contents using the button on the video controller and skip to a different chapter. We'll begin by synchronizing the requirements document that we see here in Winchill RVNS to a new model in Enterprise Architect. Over here in Enterprise Architect, we've created a package in our model as a container for our requirements. The synchronization options are accessed from the right-click menu under Specialized Nanga Systems EA Integrity Connector. Selecting Synchronize Integrity to EA opens a window that asks us for the connection to the Winchill RVNS server. The values that we see here are maintained in the configuration file for the integration. Clicking Next, we're then asked to specify the Winchell RVNS query that will help us find the document we want to synchronize, the project that contains the document, and then the document itself. In this project, we have a requirements document and a test document, so we'll select the requirements document. We can optionally specify a baseline of the document. If none is specified, then the latest version of the requirements is synchronized. With the values set, we can start the import. As the synchronization runs, the current status is displayed. Once the synchronization is finished, if we expand the package, we can see the new content. The requirements have been created with the same structure as the document in Winchill RVNS, as we can see in the overlay here. Winchill RVNS is the structural master, allowing you to synchronize structural changes from Winchill RVNS to Enterprise Architect, but not vice versa. Configurable mapping allows us to specify which categories of content to synchronize allowing us to synchronize only content that's useful within Enterprise Architect. In this example, requirements with category comment have been omitted from the synchronization. The mapping also allows us to specify stereotypes that are applied to the content so that each element can be clearly identified. We can see here that a stereotype of PTC document has been applied to the element that represents the document item in Winchell RVNS while content of category heading have a stereotype of PTC heading, and requirements a stereotype of PTC requirement. Tagged values are used to map specific fields from a Winchill RVNS item to element properties in Enterprise Architect. Here we can see the category and ID of the corresponding Winchill RVNS item. The full text of the requirement is displayed here in the Notes window. During each synchronization, changes are recorded in an impact report created within the package. Opening the report viewer, we can see each element, the old value where the content has been resynchronized with updates, and the new value. The report also includes trace relationships between content in Winchell RVNS that are mapped to dependencies in Enterprise Architect, which we'll look at in more detail shortly. From any element in the report, we can also position ourselves to that element in the project browser. Double-clicking on an element in the project browser automatically opens a document in Winchell RVNS and allows us to easily navigate to the corresponding requirement. 
We'll now make some changes to the requirements in Winchell RVNS before resynchronizing these changes to Enterprise Architect. We'll make a change to this requirement. and add a new requirement. Coming back to Enterprise Architect, we'll run the synchronization again. With the synchronization completed, we'll expand the package and we can see our change requirement and our new requirement. For each synchronization, a new impact report is created, identifying any updates. Deleted requirements aren't synchronized in either direction, but are referenced in the impact report so that you can decide what to do manually. Looking again at our requirements document in Winchill RVNS, we can see that one of our requirements traces to two test cases in a test document using the validated by relationship. Coming back to Enterprise Architect, this time we'll synchronize the test document from Winchill RVNS, following the same process as we did earlier for the requirements document. Specifying a Winchill RVNS query, the project, selecting the test document, and starting the import. With the synchronization completed, Expanding the package, we can now see the test document and the test case elements it contains. We can also see that a stereotype of PTC test case has been applied. One of the final steps of the synchronization process is to generate the traces that exist between content. In this case, the traces between the requirement and test cases have been mapped to dependencies in Enterprise Architect. And to illustrate this, we'll add a new diagram and drag in the requirement and the two test cases. Finally, we'll look at how we can synchronize changes in Enterprise Architect to Winchill RVNS. We'll make a change to an existing requirement here and create a new requirement element using the stereotype PTC requirement. To have this created as a system requirement in Winchill RVNS, we'll add a category tag with that value. And add an ID tag that will be set with a value of the Winchill RVNS item ID created. The requirement text in Winchill RVNS will be synchronized from the notes field in Enterprise Architect, so we'll enter that here. We'll save our changes and run the synchronization. This time selecting the option Synchronize EA to Integrity. With the synchronization completed, we'll come back to Winchill RVNS. 
and we can see that the diagram created earlier in Enterprise Architect has been added with Category Diagram. Our requirement changes here and the new requirement that we added in Enterprise Architect here. Thank you for watching this video from Nanga Systems. For more information on the Nanga Enterprise Architect Integrity Integration, please contact your nearest Nanga Systems office or email info at nangasystems.com.